Come on, I can't believe it. Yes, that really happened. After 60 hours of hard work, it just shattered into million pieces. Mustard Piece. Welcome to my channel. My name is Attila and this is Mustard Piece. And today we are going to make something very very cool. Let's get to it. All right, let me show you what I found. Look at this. I have found this piece of wood on the field. I don't normally work with material like this because I don't normally get anything like this, but this is a rare opportunity for me to make something larger and hopefully something really cool. We try to make a hollow form out of it. Yeah, let's see how it goes. It doesn't look very safe to be honest. This is far from being centered. I definitely put this one on because I like to leave. I think we can try to speed it up a little bit. Okay, I made some progress. Let's have a look. I think this could work. I think this could very well work. These big cracks are not good. Probably going to pour some epoxy resin in these cracks only. Okay, look at this set. Real piece of art. Let's clean it up. So this is not true at all, but I know this disc is flat. So I'm going to make a mounting point here and I grab it from here and then I shape from this side and adjust the whole shape to this axis here.
So marking this thing accurately is crucial. So I figured if I use my curves to rest and I put this one on and hopefully I can put the pen flat on it and I can make a nice flat line all the way and I can use the index horse on my leg to go to the next position let me see how far apart these are that's pretty good I guess I think that's what I am going to try to do so if I put my carving tool flat on this base that I created that should create a fairly straight line let's try this Plenty of glue. Okay, we don't want to break anything. Okay finally finished it took me like proper 16 hours to put in all the blades it's fairly good i will use a little bit of glue and sawdust so now i am going to use this extreme coarse burr blade to just shape the outside just a little bit to make it safer start to hollow the inside and Man, that will be so scary and nerve-wracking. It has to be thin. And I can break the whole thing. So much work I put into this. And literally if I break it, there is no way to fix it. I can swap the blades, but if this one doesn't work, I waste the whole material. Everything goes to waste. put in these spacers with hot glue so it's kind of protecting the blades maybe here getting a little bit thinner now I don't even see the blades anymore yeah I'm definitely hitting the blades The inside is kind of finished. Somehow I have to send it up. I don't know how I make something to be able to put in and just send it up. But we are not out of the woods yet. I have to do the outside.
I already have some damage. I sanded it down. Four days of work and just shutter if I start to turn this. Okay, let's try this. So I remember I was extra careful, like extremely careful. I only moved the chisel for like, like a millimeter. And at this point, I was so close to finish. I literally had like two centimeters to move the chisel just across. That's all I wanted to do and it just shattered. So you might hear a little bit of beeping because uh, I was very hungry. to put these two blades back on I think I it cannot be turned it has to be sanded all the way so I'm really cold and hungry and uh, tired tomorrow tomorrow I will fix it oh, man. So I am going to use this device to get an accurate profile of the curve and just cut it on the bench so Okay, so let's try this That should be just Fine. Yeah. Good. Back in business. Mustard piece.